so far, I'm kind of bored. A few moments later. Yum. <sighs> what? Hello hooligans, today we are watching Invincible Season 2, Episode 5, which is the first episode of Invincible Season 2, Part 2. Why did they decide to split an 8 episode season into 2 parts and then wait 4 months in between? Who knows? I don't even remember anything that happened from the first part besides, I guess, Mark's dad and an insect, you know. So I'm hoping there's gonna be a recap in the beginning or something. Round. It's going to be King Lizard! Oh, I totally forgot there was a King Lizard. Forgive me, Alan. Oh, that's right, Alan got wrecked. You will assume his mission and prepare the planet for our rule. Okay, so at the top of the episode, Mark is still on this insect planet for another two months, helping them rebuild their city. They eventually ask Mark to keep his half-brother safe and to take him back to Earth because their lifespan is so short. I'll be gone before he can form a sentence. Okay, so we're picking up exactly where we ended last time. <laughs> Damn, Mark, you don't look too good. Oh, they got doctors on this planet? Oh, Mark's looking kind of like young Hercules right now. The might of omnipotence! Okay. Alright, you're doing a little too much. It's time you returned home. Oh dang, she already wrinkly. That's kind of sad, Loki. For the house we sold? Kind of. Is he trying to hit on her or cuz I'm not I'm not getting the riz. It's negative riz. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, she's going to be pissed. I I I don't even have the words. Yep, <laughs> exactly. This morning, there's got to be other options. Like what? He's purple. Okay, but he's acting like there's not other purple people that are superheroes on, on Earth. Like, there's green people, there's blue people, you know, like... This. So is Donald, like, a robot or something? Because he died, right? Is that what you call this? Oh. Okay, so he is a robot. Mark goes back to his college to visit his best friend and his girlfriend, but he also runs into Cecil here, who confronts him about his absence. Mark realizes that Cecil has been keeping tabs on his mom and that he already knows about the existence of his half-brother. Cecil wants to take his half-brother, but Mark refuses to let him become a science experiment. He's my brother, not a science experiment. I can't lie, I already <laughs> forgot about this character. Don't even remember his name. Oh, right, I forgot there was a new, like, Martian guy. Who studies in their dorm room, you know? I failed a sociology test that's worth a third of my grade. How do you fail a... Never mind, I'm not gonna say nothing about that. I knew the deal when I signed on. I like that Amber is more chill now because I feel like one of the bigger problems of season one was Amber was just super annoying. Oh, oh. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, is he having a nightmare? Sir? Yeah. Are you alright, sir? While the Guardians of the Globe are training, Cecil warns them about ships approaching Earth. Shapesmith tells them that when he left a human astronaut back on Mars, the Sequids, which are these parasitic aliens, possess the astronaut and are now heading directly for Earth so that they can infect more humans. What happened to the real astronaut? And it's not yours either. Logic. Oh my gosh, this is Zula's voice. I totally didn't even notice. I wonder if there's anyone here with insider knowledge. Of Mars. Oh, that's Marxist. But the truth may be more than you can handle. We know you're a Martian. <laughs> or you think we'd let you. Uh, so when the op. Uh, oh, I damn. <laughs> he didn't have to do all that. A possessed host for the singular and terrifying Sequid Hive Mind. Oh, wow. I'm so... It's all your fault. Yes, you understand <laughs> now. Alright, so we are halfway through the episode, and so far, I'm kind of bored. Like, it clearly feels like this was not intended to be released as a second part. This was intended to come right after episode four. Because this episode doesn't feel very grand and doesn't feel like it should be something that is starting off the rest of the season. But maybe something cool will happen at the rest of the episode, so let's just keep watching. The Guardian split into two groups, one that will stay on Earth and one that will go handle the Martian situation. Rex goes to find Adam Eve for help and Cecil goes back to find Mark. What? I just got back from space. Everybody f up. To f up is human. 
This was surprisingly helpful. Hey, do you know where dead stuff is? I got rid of most of it. You could have asked me first. Well, you were gone for two months, and I couldn't live in limbo just waiting for you to come back. Right. You need any help with a new kid? We're fine. I would never trust Cecil with a child. I wouldn't even trust him with an adult, so. Got room for one more? Aw, this is nice. They got the whole team together I... now. You're not the only one who can make a suit of armor. That was cool. Hmm. That was really cool. Now that the Guardians are split up, the lizard people attack the military base to lure the remaining Guardians in. Oh no! <laughs> I'd like to see that, Ray. But I, I missed lunch. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, wow. You could have at least let him have his snack first. Dang. Yes, yes, sir. Oh, right, okay, it's the lizard people. I still don't remember anything about what happened with them. The team in space get their spaceship blown up, but they still manage to get inside the Martian spaceship. However, they accidentally trigger the Sequid hive mind to attack. You think you could stop us? They'll know the difference between space garbage and whatever we are. You're telling us this now? Yes, I'm telling you this now. Also, <laughs> they won't hesitate to fire me. That is so cool. Her power, I want her powers. No! Now all the sequins know you're here! Oh, they are way too intelligent. Oh. There's too many! This is like punching through a wall of bubblegum. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I forgot how violent this show is. Is she actually gonna... Okay, I, 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 I got scared. Kate! Oh god, uh, no! I did not expect that. I was literally mid-sentence being like, I got scared for her, and then... Okay. Are they all done? Like, are they just... Is this it for them? That was sick. Going inside the eyeball and just destroying the brain. Oh. Brutal. He ate that. Sound effects is so. Yum. What? No way. Oh my god. Is Rex done for? Are they all just done for? There's no way. That's how it ends? No! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, there's an end credit, okay. Okay, so Alan, Alan's okay. Oh, this is a nice surprise. <laughs> oh, I broke, I broke it, I broke it! <laughs> you would either die or recover stronger than before. I am Whoa. sorry, I gambled. Wait, so Alan's like low-key immortal. Oh, uh, not, not the mustache reveal. I am the only Viltrumite to ever rebel against the Empire. Huh. Okay. <laughs> there is a lot to unpack there, but I guess I did jump the gun by saying that the episode was slightly boring in the middle. I'm kind of bored. I think it was a very slow start. This actually reminds me a lot of the very first episode of season one, how it was also kind of like, pretty slow until the very end. Well, we saw a lot of people die. I mean, it makes sense because the team is increasing by a lot of characters, so we gotta kill some of them off. I do wonder if they're like dead dead though, or if they're just gonna science fiction bring them back to life. Okay, that was, that was definitely a strong last 15 minutes. I feel excited now. Invincible is back.